Hello everybody, it's Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We are on Greystone Farm, the map in North Carolina by Large H Mapping. And we are going to start ourselves a new series because there's been such an influx of brilliant mods over the Christmas week that I feel the time is right now to dive into a fresh new series on a new map and really have some fun, get back to what we know best. So here is our farm. We've spent a little bit of time setting this up and I'm going to do a little bit of a machinery tour to start with and a bit of a farm tour, just show you what's what because um, you'll see a lot of the stuff that came out over the Christmas week I have placed down here and we're finally starting to see some really, really nice mods coming through. So um, we'll do a quick tour here before we jump into the work and I'll show you the map and what fields we own and, and what we've got on the cards. But as you can see, there's a lot going on here. So first and foremost, we are using the base game combine, the smallest of the John Deere combines we can find. Uh, there it is, the 560. Um, it's a really nice model. It'll do for now. I would like to have something else, but um, we're kind of limited with small combines at the moment. Now, if I wander over here, first and foremost, we have to give a big shout out to Scratch Monkey Modding, who has uh, edited these bins from uh, Western Iowa mods and edits that were in FS19. Now what's nice about these bins is they are one uh, fruit only, so if you put soybeans in that's the only thing you can put in. If you put wheat in that's the only thing you can put in them. Um, unlike the Giants ones as well, if I go up to here and I press my mouse button, um, it opens and closes the lid at the top which is quite nice. Obviously got a little auger here. Um, this here is JMF's uh, TMR mixing facility. Again, I'll put all the links to these in the description below, but you can mix your own TMR in here so we can use these silos to store our grass, which will ferment it to silage, so on and so forth. So that should be good. We're going to give that a test out as well. Um, the Westfield auger you can see there is from Scooter's Workbench. And what's nice about that is the fact that you have to plug a tractor into it using the PTO. Um, so there we go. Uh, uh, we've just put the Bura tractor on at the moment. I would like to find a nice small tractor for that at some point. Um, this, now, this 4755 is part of a pack from Cunningham Mods, and it is a brilliant pack. These are really nicely finished off. So we're going to have a bit of fun uh, with those. We've got a couple more of those in the shed, which I'll show you in a little minute. The Brent Gravity Wagons, uh, Mr. Dinner's Farm's early uh, release, uh, which he's tidied up a bit now. You can see the wheels don't disappear into the ground, so uh, they are looking really, really good. I really like that mod. Um, and all the sheds, actually, we should give a shout out to um, Western Iowa Mods and Edits. Uh, these three sheds that we're seeing here, the, the machine shed there, the storage shed here, where we're going to put some of our uh, uh, stuff once we've... Uh, combined or harvested it and this fantastic beef cattle shed now it is a beef only cattle shed but that's what we're going to do on this series we're just going to rear some cattle uh, and uh, grow them and sell them um, so we'll have a little bit of fun with that in a little bit of uh, time as well after we gather some food for them but for now that is us that is our little enclave in the middle of the north carolina countryside so um I was going to say, that's us, let's move on, but uh, in here we have got quite a lot of machinery, uh, which I want to share with you. Uh, probably touch on these as well, truck I'm driving, that's a Chevy uh, expendable modding, and uh, also the truck. There it is, another Chevy, a Chevy Bison, really nice truck that. Um, again, expendables modding stuff, uh, they do some awesome st stuff, so uh, really nice. Let's pop this, and you'll see some other toys we have available. There we go. Really nicely opening doors on the shed there. So, another 4440 John Deere in there with a New Holland um, harvester on the back, forage harvester. That is from Skywalker Mods. In fact, that and the forage trailer from Skywalker Mods, both edits. The mayo on there so we're going to get those in and do some work with them in the little the next wee while which should be good we've also got a grass pickup header for that as well so you can swap those two out uh, the 49.55 there with a the front hitch on it um, there's a reason for that front hitch on it as well which i'll show you in a little minute but again really really nicely finished tractors those gotta love those uh we've got a plow we've got a 
We've got a stone picker standard stuff in there. And again, we've used this already, but Roosters, Moddings, brilliant John Deere. Um, Baylor, uh, Edit um, is really, really nice as well. And we've just got ourselves um, a little windrow here uh, because we struggle a little bit. The width of the pickup on that, rightly so, is quite narrow. So we're kind of hoping that maybe we can run this on the front, which is why we've got the front hitch there on the bigger John Deere. So there we go. A little bit of kit in there. We are probably going to dive straight in and... Uh, do a little bit of um, maze collection because we want to get some silage into these and get ready for the cows coming. Now let's just quickly look to the map for a second. So there's where we're based. You can see we've got fields dotted around all over the place. We've got a little batch of fields up here, 29, 31, 44 and 45. Um, all growing. They're in the wrong setting here at the moment. Uh, but various states of readiness. The wheat is ready to go already. We've got a soybean field here that is ready to go as well. And this is oats. Uh, down here we've got another um, cornfield and we've got wheat behind that. And then again more soybeans, more corn, more wheat and a tiny little field of oats in this patch which we go basically through our yard to access these. So these are kind of quite in the middle of nowhere. We've also got a couple of chunks of grass here which could come in handy for chaff um, for feeding the animals. So we'll, um, we'll utilise them at some point as well. But what we're going to do, I think, first and foremost, priority really is to get some feed for the animals. So I think we're going to dive into one of these um, cornfields, probably 73 down here or 68 along the road. Um, and we'll, we'll grab some corn and we'll deliver it back to the farm. And we'll get things started. So with that in mind, let us jump in the 4440 and run down to our first field. So yes, the reason for really hanging on until I did my first Let's Play series was kind of just everybody was doing the same maps with the base game maps. Much as they were great for finding out about the game, they weren't really floating my boat. There wasn't a lot of engagement for me with those maps. So whilst doing a few tutorials and finding out about uh, how things worked in the game, I wasn't, I wasn't at a place where I really wanted to do a series on any of them. But here we are. The first of the mod maps are out and we have got the potential now to uh, do something a little bit different. Um, so without further ado, we are going to dive straight into this and see how we get on. Now let's line ourselves up here. I'm seriously considering maybe just whipping around the outside once or twice while I get my bearings. Um, I do have GPS on this tractor. Um, as a paid for add-on obviously I don't think it originally came with this when it was a new tractor back in the day but um, through the uh, delights of modern technology we can add it on later on so what we'll do we'll set our A point there and we will spin this up unfold it first oh we've got to unfold the pipe as well there we go Powered up and running. We'll run forward, hopefully in a straightish line. And as you can see, we are harvesting already. And then I'll hit that point there to set our B line. Let me just load up and see what's happening here. Auto width, yes, it's a, a measly six meters. Um, it is an offset as well, so it's going to be interesting to see how this works. Not something I always do. Uh, but it looks like it's offset itself to pick up this edge and then we'll turn well we can't really turn can we we're going to have to loop around a bit uh, but then we'll come back and see what we've uh, see what we've got next but we should get quite a big crop out of this which will mean maybe on some of our other uh, maize fields or our corn fields when they're ripe and maybe we'll combine them and get a little bit of money. We do only have a, a hundred thousand in the bank. Um, so obviously setting ourselves a little bit of a challenge, not a huge one. I don't know how quickly our, our trailer's going to fill up but we have only got a few row header pickup on this. So we will push on with this and we'll come back shortly. Just one more. 
Okay, we've got a trailer full already. So what I'm going to do, rather than have to unhitch this every time we want to take a load, what we'll do, let's just turn the HUD back on. We are going to switch to our trailer, unhitch it. And then we'll sit there and get ready for it coming back. But what we're going to do now, we'll run down and grab another tractor. Okay, in the other tractor now, we will run down, get that first load of forage, and then we're going to work out how this TMR mixer works, because I have not used it yet. So let's go and pick up the trailer. So as you can see from that cornfield there, we're probably going to get a decent enough crop off this. So it does does beg the question that we could make a little bit of extra money out of our uh, other cornfields, which is great. Because we don't have much. Uh, but there we go. Forage box hooked up. See the PTO attached as well. Skipping through the many gears on the John Deere here. Really nice mods, these from Cunningham. I like them a lot. Mod link in the description if you want to grab these. I would strongly recommend it. Right, here we are back at the yard. What we're going to do is just run around here and get ourselves lined up. Now, what I haven't done yet is set up the blower. I've just purchased it from the shop, but I'm just going to stop here. You can see the pipe there. For both the silos, there's one uh, for the blue silo that takes um, straw, um, and this one here takes chaff, the kind of cement coloured one. Um, so, what we're going to do, we're going to have to uncouple the Bura tractor from the the auger because we're not using it at the moment, and we'll run it around because it doesn't need a tractor attached and running to work. So, let's grab this. Isn't the ideal tractor to be honest? I'm missing. A nice small tractor. This is actually quite a big tractor. A big chunky tractor, but um, yeah, I'd like a little uh, 50, 60 horse, even an old tractor, like an old Alice Chalmers or something, something small. My little Fordson Major off the uh, FS19 map, the one I'm uh, updated, something like that would be perfect. Just enough to run the, uh, the PTO. We'll pop this into place. Get it lined up as well as we can. Okay, I think we've got it there. Like I said, this tractor's not ideal. Um, I should be able to turn that on now. Now, if everything's set up right, this should pull alongside it. And we should get a trigger. Tractor engine is running. So if I get close enough, don't want to bang it because it's under the pipe. We switch it from tip side back to sip, tip side front unload, and there we go. Chaff. And there it goes, unloading. Took a little bit of time to kick in there, start to panic. That is filling up our silo. So if I leave that to run for a second and jump actually into production chains. You'll see in our TMR mixer there, the chaff levels are starting to go up. And we've got lots of different options here, haylage, silage, uh, TMR, um, haylage mix, silage mix, so it shows you all the different ways of pulling this together depending on what you've got. We've got a bit of everything. Uh, chaff, grass, hay, ear corn as well. Interesting. Anyway, there you go. We shall be making some TMR sooner rather than later. Okay, all unloaded and into the silo, so we'll go and get some more. I'm very confident now that just this one field will do us and the rest can be sold for a little bit of money. Drop the trailer off there, just roll forward out of the way. I'll leave this tractor here and we'll get things hooked up again. 
and we will go back to harvesting. And there we go, up and running again, and getting that trailer filled back up. So, nothing more to do than uh, push on, I suppose. It's going to take us a little bit more time to fill this uh, trailer and get this field done, but I just wanted to give you a feel for where we're going to go with this series. Lots of kind of traditional machinery and uh, small fields, just a little bit different to anything that we've had so far in FS22 with the base game maps. So, um, I'm going to leave it there. Um, but we will be back this week with a few more of these and I will hopefully see you then but for now, from me, the farm sim guy thank you very very much for watching and I will see you all again very soon bye for now